by supporting the Flower Valley Conservation Trust. That's where we found goodness. Pick and pay, always there for you. Thailand, a country of warm smiles and sunshine. What's great about this destination is the variety of what's on offer and the fact that whatever you try, it's not going to break the bank. Beyond the beach, here are four experiences not to miss out on. Firstly, an entire universe of amazing dishes awaits. It's hard to beat street food as one of the most authentic and vibrant ways to experience the local buzz. So why not follow your nose and go where the food smells take you? Secondly, a Thai or Thai yoga massage is a must. This type of massage has been practiced here for thousands of years as a method of healing. A traditional Thai rubbing is a combination of acupressure, reflexology and gentle stretching, leaving you energized and ready to explore the tropical wild. Thirdly, get an eyeful of the elephants. Bigfoots have been revered in Thailand for many centuries. They were important in battle with kings mounted on elephants fighting to defend Thailand on many occasions. Elephant riding has become an integral part of all tourists' visits to Thailand. Well-trained elephants can be ridden through local villages and the surrounding forests. And finally, step into some of the most photographed destinations in the whole of the country, the floating markets. Though some of the main waterways have since been filled in to make way for roads, Bangkok was once known as the Venice of Asia, thanks to its extensive network of canals. Floating markets are located throughout Bangkok and the surrounding provinces. Experience the best of Thailand for yourself with Pick and Pay Travel. Stay 10 nights at the Patong Beach Hotel in Phuket from only 10,450 Rand per person sharing. This package includes return flights, daily breakfast and much, much more. Book your Thailand escape on pnbtravel.co.za today. From the wonderful Thailand, we are traveling over to Italy. Now, often we're bamboozled by the amount of choice we have when we walk down the pasta aisle at Pick and Pay. I can never choose the right one. So I thought today we could familiarize ourselves with the pasta shapes available and which type of dishes are best suited for these shapes. And we have chef and restauranteur Giorgio Nava, who recently received a perfect score in Parma, Italy at the World Pasta Championships. He came second in the competition, so we are celebrating you on Espresso Tape. Bonjour. Thank you. Come Molto bene, grazie. Very well, thank you. Congratulations on the award. Thank Tell you. us first of all about that. Ah, it's been an amazing experience. Uh, I arrived in Italy with other 60 chefs from 32 countries, and we all compete each other for a couple of days. And uh, we arrived uh, to be four, and I managed to get sick. So it was a great experience. Well, we are celebrating a man who lives in South Africa, who came second in Italy, and he's the perfect guy to introduce us to the variety of pastas. First of all, there's a few that I haven't seen yet. Should we start over here? What is oh, yeah. that? These are the Italini. The Italini. The Italini, Italini is the one we will uh, cook later on. It's a very uh, uh, small type of pasta. We normally use this type of pasta for uh, a broth uh, or soup. Mm -hmm. Ideally, we use them for that. It cooks very fast and uh, has a very smooth serve, so it doesn't have to, to grip any sauce. It's uh, perfect in, uh, in a very liquid uh, type of sauce. Then we go on and we have a beautiful farfalle here. This farfalle. Is an, uh, uh, pardon, fusilli. 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 Fusilli are very particular because with this uh, spiral type of shape, they can hold uh, a lot of sauce. Mm -hmm. So for a creamy, cheesy sauce, I always suggest uh, something like that. That's a also, nice one. It's a beautiful one. This one we call it spirale. 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 Again, is a beautiful pasta, can hold uh, very much uh, the sauce in, the, in this shape. We normally use with uh, vegetable, for instance, with mushroom because uh, they can really stack uh, on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on this uh, um, shape mm -hmm. and are very, very rough and coarse, as you can see. So as much are coarse, as much pasta, can, as much sauce can, uh, can stick on the, on the pasta. So um, these are nice to have with sauces, the spirally ones? Yeah, these are very mm -hmm. um, ideal for, for, for a rich uh, sauce because they, they can really grip on. Then we have uh, uh, macaroni. Macaroni, my favourite. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> you can use for many other sauces. are famous in the world for macaroni and cheese. And uh, here I normally suggest with a, with a thinner sauce, like a tomato sauce, mm -hmm. for instance, tomato base, and then, of course, you can add uh, as much cheese as you like. And they're perfect with the all, of course, uh, lots of pasta, uh, lots of sauce also enter the all. So when you eat it, it's more juicy, more, uh, oh. more rich. 
uh, penne, penne rigate. Penne rigate. Penne rigate. This one is very popular. South African like a lot penne rigate. The whole uh, is uh, much bigger than this one, particularly mm -hmm. when it cook. So lots of sauce can enter. I use it normally with uh, ragu, meat ragu is perfect. Meat sauce mm -hmm. is uh, fantastic for a nice bolognese, for instance, work very, very well. And again, uh, with the big hole, uh, lots of sauce enter. And also with this shape, uh, with this angle shape, you can uh, pick up a lot of sauce. Mm. Uh, it's made for uh, allow the sauce to, to enter very easily. So this uh, particular uh, angle cut. And these ones? These are farfalle, farfalline, farfalle. farfalle again. This is a very smooth uh, surf again. As you, as you touch mm -hmm. it, you feel, so it doesn't have to hold a lot of sauce. The sauce can stick on this side uh, mm -hmm. because uh, there is this little uh, hole. And uh, again, uh, creamy sauce in broth as well, uh, very ideal because it's very also easy to eat with spoon. No, you don't necessarily need a, a fork uh, with this one. And uh, children like a lot as well, particularly I can young understand one why. because it's quite easy for them to eat with just one spoon. And uh, it's, a, it's a very popular pasta we're using a lot. Also with creamy sauce can work uh, very, very well. Well, Giorgio, we're gonna take a quick break when we come back, we are going to be making a really creative dish using uh, this pasta. This pasta. This pasta, as I call it. We want to know from you on our Facebook page while we're in the break. Let us know what is your favourite pasta shape that you like to cook and what is your favourite pasta dish. Let us know. We'll see you after this.